warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My dear students of year four, welcome in a new lesson of our Islamic studies. Today, Monday, 11 May 2020, and we will discover our lesson title together. Look to this picture and try to answer about who are your kinship. Do you know what the meaning of kinship? Kinship means relatives. Yes, very good. From this picture, who are your relatives? Yes, your relatives from both sides of your father and mother. And they are grandfather, grand, grandmothers, uncles, aunts, cousins, brothers, and sisters. And this is you. Okay, so. Our lesson today will be about, yes, your kinship or relatives, okay? Uh, do, you, do you memorize or know any verse or hadith talk about kinship? Yes. Yes. قال تعالى أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم واعبدوا الله ولا تشركوا به شيئا وبالوالدين إحسانا وبذي القربى واليتامى والمساكين وابن السبيل صدق الله العظيم and there is, there is more hadiths talk about kinship and how to honor them and from these hadiths, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, in Arabic, I will, I will introduce this by Arabic first. جَاءَ عَرَبِيٌ إِلَى النَّبِيِّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ فَقَالَ لَهُ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ مَنْ أَحَقُّ النَّاسِ بِحُسْنِ صَحَابَتِي قَالَ أُمَّكْ قَالَ ثُمَّ مَنْ قال أمك قال ثم من قال أمك قال ثم من قال أبوك This hadith by English There was a man coming to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and asked him Who deserve to care by, by him more ya رسول الله from my kinship The Prophet replied your mother, the man asked again for the first one, the Prophet said, your mother. The second, the man said again, then the Prophet said, your mother. Third, the, the man said, then the Prophet said, your mother. And for the man said, said for the first time, then, then whom? Ya Rasulullah, the Prophet answered in the force, your father. So in this hadith, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advised this man who came to ask it about who deserve more to care by him, the Prophet answered in the first three times your mother and in the first your father. So this is mean we should to care more by our relatives, especially your mother and your father. And this is not mean only your father or mother, but the man asked who deserve to care more who deserve to care more by him. So, who deserve to care by him more, your mother, and then your father, then the other of your relatives, from your brother, sister, grand, grandma, grandma. Okay? 
and uncles and, and uh, aunts. Our learning objectives will be read from memory this novel hadith, give the general meaning of the novel hadith, infer the guidance contained in the novel hadith, give evidence that observing the ties of kinship a reason for entering paradise, identify the acts that help you to observe the ties of kinship. And this is video you can see by yourself uh, from the PowerPoint I sent before on uh, yesterday, but uh, now just only for explain the lesson. So we'll pass. This is our hadith for our lesson. The Prophet said, the one who cuts off the ties of kinship will not enter paradise. The Prophet said, the one who cuts off the ties of kinship will not enter paradise. So, we know, understand that from this hadith, what is, what is the general meaning for this hadith? The hadith is very easy. We know that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advise us to care and honor and deal good with our kinship, with our relatives. And the one who cuts off, who didn't con con connect with his relatives, what his punishment? The Prophet said he will not enter paradise. So this is bad punishment for who cut communication with his relatives. So I advise myself and you to take care by this important thing. To, we should to take care by our relatives, especially as we, as I said in the beginning of our lesson, your father, mother, you and your brother and other, others, your sisters, to help you to win Allah's love, and to get good deeds, and to enter paradise, inshallah. And these are some questions. Who are the kings? Who are your kings? Why does Allah punish those who cut off the ties of kinship? And mention some benefits of observing the ties of kinship. We have three seconds for to think. Yeah, and this is this are the answers. The kinship relatives of mother and mother. And why does Allah punish those who cut off the ties of kinship? Because they disobeyed, disobeyed Allah's command. Mention some benefits of observing the ties of kinship. In the world, you will, this will increase in the life, or the life food and the blessing of Allah upon you. And you will get good deeds, and Allah, you will get, you will gain Allah's love, and in the hereafter you will enter paradise. This is activity. A faithful Muslim, you should do complete this. A faithful Muslim behavior, which Allah's love is, ties his kinship. First for Muslim behavior, which Allah loves, is who, who ties, this is here, some missing word, ties kinship. The characteristics, the characteristics of faithful Muslim is fear Allah and maintaining the bonds of kinship is 
evidence of faith. This is sign for your good faith. You are good believer if you tithe your kenshin. And here you should to help to maintain the bonds of kinship lead to and here uh, lead to severing the bonds of kinship from here and this is the answer this is god actus help to maintain the bonds of kinship and these bad actors make to cut the relatives between you, cut the relation between you and your relatives. You for good deeds, accepting excuses, admitting mistakes, tolerance, seeking help for Allah, Allah, thinking about the effect of cancer and bad deeds. If you if you do can cut this ties of kinship, arrogance, envy, crudely, raising abuse with abuse, means and moderation in shocking. Here you have this some situation, page 127, and these are the answer for this question. So check this page. And try to check your answer if not the same here or if not correct, please try to correct from here. And here, this is the answer also for page 120. And your homework will be answer pages 183 and 184. This is the activity for homework. And you should, and this is the answer, and this is for activity two. This is the answer, you should check, don't look to the answers. Look to the answer after you answer this activity. And here you should to copy, print this page and try to put here your family's pictures okay and we reach you to the end of our lesson thank you assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh